Okay, we want to simplify i to the 38th power and i to the 359th power. The thing you have to know about i's in this section is that an i is equal to the square root of negative 1, so we're talking about imaginary numbers here. However, we do have a pattern depending on what power that you have on top of the i. So i to the 0 power is going to be a 1. I to the first power, that's the square root of negative 1, so that's our definition. I is equal to the square root of negative 1, uh, or you can just leave it as I. I to the second power is equal to uh, negative 1, because if you square that one, you'll get negative 1, and I to the third power is negative I. So when you have a problem like this, what you want to do is take whatever the power is, you're going to divide it by 4, and whatever remainder you get, it's going to end up being one of the numbers in this list and you can use that to simplify it. We're dividing by 4 because if we were to continue this pattern and go to i to the 4th power, you would get back to 1 again and the whole pattern would repeat. So the whole pattern keeps going every 4 times. So we're going to take 38 and we're going to divide it by 4, just like this. And we want to just get the remainder. So 4 goes into 38 9 times. When we subtract, we get a remainder of 2. So what that means is that I can take i to the 38th power and I can write that as i squared. And i squared, that's equal to negative 1, which means that i to the 38th power can be written as negative 1. That's how that would simplify. So instead of i to the 38th, we can write negative 1. It means the same thing. Let's do this one down here, i to the 359. Again, what you want to do is you take whatever the power is that they give you and you want to divide it by 4 again because the pattern repeats every 4 times. Do that. goes in here 8 times. 32 we subtract. Bring down the 9. We have a 9 goes in there. And then what we get is we get a remainder of 3. So that means that i to the 359 is the same thing as i to the third power. And i to the third power is the same as negative i, so we can say that i to the 359 is the same thing as negative i, and then that would be how we can simplify that. So first one simplifies to negative 1, second one simplifies to just negative i.